Hey everybody, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to create a desktop application and it's going to be, uh, it's going to take some user input. Somebody's going to click submit and when we click submit, the user will see a message dialog box saying, uh, I don't know, something's going on here. So let's get started. So I'm starting out here with uh, that basic template that uh, you guys have seen um, in the first two videos. So I have three classes, my av, my frame, my panel. And I have this if statement here, uh, if condition uh, to run the application. Actually, th that shouldn't be there. So what needs to happen is we need to add a couple of things and I've left a couple of comments here uh, to indicate what needs to be added. So the first thing is let's start out with the panel. So the panel needs to contain some things. Uh, I want to add a text box here. So somebody's going to enter say their name or uh, their address or some information. So I'm going to say self dot text box and I'm going to say wx text control. The parent will be self. The value will be uh, enter name. I don't know why I said Jane. Name. Here. And I'm going to position it at uh, let's see, 20 by, let's say, 60. I'll say 40. 60, actually. And that's basically it. So now somebody can type stuff in there, but we need uh, a button to click submit. And that button actually needs to submit this information to somewhere. So for now, I'm just going to say print. And it'll print to the uh, terminal. So I'm going to say self text box and I'm going to get the value that the person entered. So somebody's going to enter their name and then when they hit submit it's going to print their name out to the terminal. So let's run this application. Actually let me double check to make sure everything is on here. So we have my frame class and the panel is added to the frame and the frame is initialized by the application class and shown. And here, I'm actually, uh, just to clarify why I'm returning true, I'm actually rewriting over a method that uh, is already included in WX app, and that's on init. So on init expects uh, to return true, so just uh, always make sure to include that on here. And that should be it. So let me grab a terminal and run this application. So I'm going to say Python my message box app. And great. So we have a text box here and a submit button. So I'm going to type in my name, Jonathan, submit. And what you can see is that it does what the button is there to do. So let's close that, clear all this junk out. Great. But what I started out with this video was to say that uh, I want to display some dialogue message. And so I need a build on uh, this panel. So I'm going to create a new uh, function. And that function will be uh, that function will be show dialogue. So and create a new dialog and that's with wx rich message dialog and that takes a parent and that parent will be self since it's going on the panel actually no I'm incorrect so the message dialog box will be a new window so I'll say none for that uh, message will be something uh, I'll say 
Hi there. This is a message box. And let's see. We can add a caption. Uh, the caption will be my message box. And let's see. We can style the message box to include a couple of things. So when somebody sees the message box, usually there's uh, stuff to do. Um, so it might be a warning or uh, a question like, do you want to continue, etc. So I'll say WX yes, no to include a yes, no button. And I also want to include a cancel button or a way for users to cancel out of this. And I want to include center to center things. And just like the frame, we want to make sure this is shown. So I'm going to call DLG dialog uh, show modal. And that will display the dialog box. Now, dialog boxes are useful to sometimes have, but sometimes they can be annoying. And to have a user always have some pop-up on them, uh, that's annoying. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a way to, uh, for the user to uh, click some checkbox to never see this message box ever again. So I'm going to say if DLG is check box checked I'm going to say uh, self don't show I'm going to set that to true now one thing that I need to do is add the checkbox I'm going to add it right before I show it so DLG show checkbox great so one thing to be clear is that this self don't show um, variable needs to be added to the class. And fortunately, I added this ahead of time. So I set this initially to false. So what I want is for this dialog to check, all right, did this user check the don't show message box, checkbox? If they didn't, display the message. However, if they did, uh, don't display this annoying message ever again. So I'm going to say if self don't show return none. And that's literally just going to return nothing. Okay, and I think that is it for our application. So let's run it. So I have a terminal here. Say, I'm going to say Python, my message box app. Great. So I'm going to enter my name. And I hit submit. And I actually don't get my message box. So let's figure out what went wrong. Ah, that's right. You got to call the function in order for it to do anything. So I'm going to say self. So, ah, not show modal, show dialog. All right. Okay, so we got an error. It's saying type error, rich message, dialog, show, checkbox, not enough arguments. Okay. So I need to include some information in here, apparently. And that's just a message string. So... Somebody's going to see a checkbox there, but, you know, they, they don't know what that checkbox is for unless you add a message. So click here to never show again. And clear that. Okay, so click here to never show again. Great, we got our message box, but I don't want this here on my uh, right as I launch my application I want it when I submit so actually I need to move this function and put it under the action which is on submit there we go close that out clear and great so now I have my message sorry my uh, window application 
and type my name, Jonathan, and I'm going to hit submit. And hey, there, what do you know? We got our message box. Okay, I'm just going to click yes. Ignore that for now. Submit. Do this a couple of times. All right. Well, now that we've seen our message box a couple of times, I don't want to see this ever again. So I'm going to click this. Click here to never show again box. Yes. And there you go. So that's how to create a window application with a message box.